everybody. How could vegetation help prevent landslides? These are the materials to my experiment. First off, two Lego houses with the same number of bricks. Then, one bag of soil in each container. Then, newspapers. And most important in all, of all, trees. And of course, a bucket to represent the, the flash flood presenting the landslide. Step one, get your newspapers and then just crumple them and then place them in the box. Very simple. That's step one. Step two, pour the soil on the newspapers to make a mountain. So you just shove it, shove it, shove it, and then just like pour, simple, very simple. Be careful because you could make a mess. And that's it for step two. See you. Step three, place both houses on top of the mountain. Also, make sure that both of your houses have the same amount of bricks, so it'll be fair. That's it for step three. This is step four. Place on one side of the mountain Put only a few trees or vegetation. Uh, but on the other side, we put a lot of vegetation. This is the key to what we'll be working on in this project. That's step four. Step five. Pour water on both sides of the container. Mm. That's a lot of water. Now let's test the other side with no vegetation. See, the house will crumble and fall. If we add a little bit more water here, it will not fall because the surrounding trees will protect the house and it will delay the flood so the landslide cannot go. And that's step five. This is step six. Examine your results and collect data. Let's start with off with this side. See, there's a lot of vegetation here and the landslide didn't destroy the house. Why? Because since landslides are caused by other major events like flash flood, earthquake, and rain, since plants absorb water, the rain had no water left because all the trees absorbed it. Now, let's move on to this side. This side fell because the soil here eroded. Therefore, that this, that this container and this house fell because the landslide was, was able to occur and it happened. Why? Because there's very little vegetation here. See? So, so there's very little plants that could absorb the water. And that's all the steps that you need to create a successful landslide experiment. Bye bye!